we started this process at like three today and it is now like nine. So, um, we worked hard all day. We both sure did. Yeah. Hi everybody, it's me, Mike, and I'm here once again in my own kitchen with a new resin casting project. I am going to be making my own bootleg Ikea guy. <laughs> this, this guy. A couple of weeks ago, one of my favorite makers on Instagram, Slug Toys, that's his sticker there on my water bottle, uh, decided to curate an art show of, you know, bootleg toys and the like, um, all with the theme of Ikea. And I've already gone ahead and done the sculpt and made the mold. What I decided to do was make this little guy who's in all the instruction manuals, and then here's the mold I made of him. My goal is to make this cardboard piece of the Ikea box of something we just got, is to make it blue and then make this guy, a bunch of this guy yellow and make the sort of Swedish flag on that box. We'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna play with some color today. Um, I've got my pigments and I also have this cool glitter um, that I got for a different project that I haven't even really continued with yet. And it suspends in the the resin mixture so that it doesn't all like rise to the top. So we'll see. I'm gonna try a bunch of things and uh, maybe it'll be great and who knows, maybe it won't. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm gonna first try to make this guy in a sort of translucent yellow. I also, just after recording the intro part of the video you just saw, we went out and played tennis and I was too aggressive and I ran into the fence and that's why I have a band-aid on my wrist. Could this happen to me? I made my mistake. So here we go, let's pull this out. Yikes. Yeah, she's yellow. She's very yellow. Oh, I'm gonna take off this shirt, I think, um, because I like it. And it's from my podcast, How Star Wars Is It? Check it out wherever you get podcasts. Because I don't want to get it messy. One second. Hi, I'm Caitlin, and this is my kitchen. This stuff is Mike's stuff. I don't really know what any of it is, but I'll take a guess. This is glitter glue that he uses for his crafts. And here's a box. It's a blue box hey, hey, made hey, of rubber. <laughs> I'm touching all your things. Okay. So um, it's a box of rubber. Cut this part. Squishy. Okay, now she's gone. I will get back to it. Okay, first test is going to be just a little bit of the yellow and then mix in the resin and then see what we get. So that is the, the first test. Um, I'm gonna let that go. I'm seeing a lot of bubbles. I don't have a pressure pot, which is how you deal with that. That's the, like, the easy way, the way that all the like good people who do this and know what they're doing do. But I have a couple other like ideas to eliminate some of the bubbles. So we'll just see as this one cures and we'll take a look in a little bit. Okay, time to take a look. Let's try to get this guy out. Here he comes. Um, here, here's the guy. Um, he looks pretty good. Kind of bubbly, but I'm pretty pleased with this little guy. Okay, um, that one was a little bubbly, but it's better than I thought maybe I'd be able to do on my first shot. I'm gonna try a like hack here real quick. This may be the exact opposite of what I should be doing, but I have a bowl here of water that I just heated up and I'm gonna mix the same give or take recipe into the cup and the cup will be sitting in the bowl so that the resin stays warm. Um, I, this might just be pseudoscience. I have no idea if that's actually gonna help at all. I'm also going to focus hard on not stirring so vigorously because I think that also kicked up a lot of air bubbles. So. Oh yeah, wow. It 
it's very hot. Okay, it's curing. It is hopefully gonna be a better, more translucent version than this first uh, dude. So we'll see how it goes in a little bit. <laughs> okay, I think it is time to pull out the second cast. And a word to the wise, when you make a cast of one of these little guys and you're cutting off the excess plastic, be very careful with your knife. Oh, on is I'm fading away. Um, Okay, let's get going. So here it is. I I want to think that it's ready. Let's try it. There she is. It's a little more translucent, but it's definitely bubblier. So maybe heat is not good. And let's try another one. Let's try one with that glitter now. How about it? Attempt number three. I'm gonna get some gloves. And I'm gonna be very, very, very careful with this. Oh God. Okay, so <laughs> let's do one with no pigment and just glitter and see what that gets us. So it looks kind of clear at the top there, but hopefully if this stuff behaves like it's supposed to, it'll all settle like uniformly throughout the mixture. Hopefully it'll look something more like that. So fingers crossed, my, my cut up bloody fingers crossed. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna let that keep cooking and we'll come back in a little bit. So this ought to be done by now, I'm gonna, test it with this other piece of plastic I have. Uh, oh. Well, it's, oh God, shoot. It's it's really sticky still, it's like gluey. It, it ought to be done right now, or by now. So I might've done something wrong with the mixture or maybe the glitter added some funky variable to it. So I guess I'm just gonna have to let it go. I'll check back in in another 10, 20 minutes. And still a little gummy, tacky. It's been like 30 minutes maybe. So I'm gonna just let this continue to cure. I'm right now in the middle of my quarantine slash every summer rewatch of all the Mission Impossible movies. And I'm uh, currently about to watch Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. So I'm gonna just go do that for a little bit. So I'll uh, check back in in another half hour or so, just so I'm certain that this thing is fully cooked. See you soon. Okay. I just checked again, it's still a little soft, but I think it might help to get this thing out of the mold and then maybe it can start sort of air curing while it's out. So I'm gonna pull this baby out right now and I'll be very careful. Felony. Oh, there we go, got him. Hey, he's glittery. <laughs> A little janky looking and can't tell if he even has his eyeball, but we got him. And we'll start on another one. So this next one, and I think for the rest of these, I'm gonna just do a full on, like maybe one or two drops of this yellow pigment to make it like just really yellow, like SpongeBob school bus yellow. So I'll get started with that now. It's already starting to cure, which is a very good sign. I won't have to watch an entire Mission Impossible movie by, before coming to check on this again. So we'll let this baby cook. Okay, it looks like um, number four is um, ready to pull out. Okay, here we go, let's try it. Damn, <laughs> still pretty bubbly, but very yellow. Um, you know what I might do? I might try some white to make it opaque and then like a lot of yellow so that we can 
stop seeing some of these bubbles. The white will help sort of conceal the bubbles, I think. But this one's a pretty good one. <laughs> It looks like eggs. We'll check back in in a little bit. I think it's probably about ready. Here we go. Ah, that might be the best one yet. It's a little bubbly, but I think we've got the formula figured out. Okay, begin montage. <laughs> I just got my best one so far. I think my final product might be like one of each of these like to show that I was, you know, experimenting and learning along the way. But um, this guy is like the one. Okay, um, I've got another one to pull out of the mold here and then I'm gonna call it a night, I think. Um, I've got enough good ones and then like I said, I think showing the different versions of my progress as my sort of submission to the show is like maybe even cooler than just like perfect looking ones. So I'm gonna pull this one out. Hey, look everybody, Caitlin's back. It's a really yucky sound. Yeah, it's like Ooh, another good one. So I'll check back in tomorrow and we'll finish this thing up, hopefully. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> hey, everybody, it is day number two, and um, I'm ready to get uh, started with the, the finishing touches of this project. So I'm going to throw away all of this kind of scrambled egg waste plastic from yesterday. And then I'm gonna get started with the packaging. So I'm gonna take this box piece, cut it down to the shape I want, and then start painting it blue. So let's get started. Okay, here I am. Uh, I'm gonna cut up my board and paint it. Be very careful. And voila, a fresh, clean, straight edge board. Now time for painting. So I have this blue uh, paint that I think looks almost exactly like the color I want. Here we go. She's done. Now I'll just let this dry for a minute or two and we'll uh, get on with the final assembly. So this here is the order that I cast these yesterday from one to 10, it looks like. So you can see the first five or six are all super different looking and then eventually I got kind of consistent. But again, like even my last one yesterday was super bubbly. I'm gonna do, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. Um, and I've got these little blisters that I'll start putting them in. So I'm realizing now that I cut this thing a little small, which could kind of screw me. So I may have to um, kind of cram together these vertical ones or cut some off. I didn't. I just wanna scream. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is cut some of these blisters a little bit to see if I can get them to fit. So I'm going to do my best to place these as is. It may just mean kind of cramming these vertical ones a little bit and kind of cutting apart their, the flange of the blister, but um, I'm, kind of done with this project. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be a fun video if there wasn't a little uh, crazy thing right here at the end. So I may as well try this one. 
Let's try to cram. Here's the final product. So here, let's do the sticker now. Pop that right on the bottom here. And there we have it. What do you think? It's great. Great. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>